Hi, I'm Therese Maletti with Centerville City Schools. About a month ago, we shared with you that there would be some changes headed our way. And the pre-trip is one of those changes that is taking place and started on the 1st of February. So we're gonna talk about those changes. Really not a whole lot has changed. It's more about the order in which the pre-trip is presented. This is for the state of Ohio. So if you live in a different state, please check with your local test site for specifics about your procedures. So we still have 30 minutes. We're just going to adjust the order in which we present the pre-trip. We're gonna start with our break tests first. So here we go. We do have to start with a safe start. And what a safe start means is that my gear shift is in neutral, my parking brake is set, I will put the key to accessory, the ABS light goes on and promptly goes off. And of course, we will start with our seat belt. Okay. So, start it up. ABS light goes on, like I said, and we'll promptly go out. We're gonna put on our headlights so all of our gauges illuminate. We have enough fuel for the trip. We have DEF and all the lights are lit up. We have our tachometer. We have our odometer, our speedometer. We have our voltmeter, which will sit between 12 and 14. Our temperature gauge will rise to about 190. That was our governor cutoff. Um, it goes off around 125 for our air brake tanks. This is our front and rear air brake tanks. And for our test, we will need at least 100 pounds of pressure. We're sitting at 120. Like I said, they will go from 120 to 125, and then the governor will cut off, and you'll hear that noise you just heard. Here's our other uh, temperature gauge. Again, it's gonna sit right around 190. Okay, so our first brake test that we're going to do, we are going to test the parking brake. The parking brake, um, what we're gonna do to test the parking brake is put the gear shift into drive. We have our foot on the service brake, then we will relieve, re remove it from the service brake and press on the accelerator to make sure that our parking brake is holding, and it is. We didn't move. Now, we're going to keep it in drive. We're going to release the parking brake to check the service brake. We're going to move forward about five miles an hour, and we're gonna push on the service brake. We're not pulling to the left or to the right, and we're stopping smoothly, so we know our service brake is functioning properly. Now, we're going to put the gear shift back into neutral. We're going to turn the bus key off, the engine off, and put it back to accessory so our gauges still function. Now, we're going to have our foot off of the service brake, and, and for the static brake test, we don't want it to move, the air tanks to move more than two PSI in a minute, and ask the tester if they want to time that. If they say move on, press on the service brake, real hard pressure, and we don't want to make sure that these air tank gauges are not moving more than three PSI, PSI after the initial drop. And again, you'll ask the tester if they want to time that. If they want to time it, um, don't release the pressure until they say move on. If they say move on, start fanning your service brake to release the air from the tanks. You keep press on the service brake until above 55, your light and buzzer will come on. And between 20 and 40, your parking brake will set itself. So continue fanning the brake until that happens. All right, so our parking brake popped and our air pressure lights go. So we know that all of our emergency brake features are working properly. Now we're going to turn the bus back on and show all of our other lighting indicators and everything else on the inside of the bus. Okay, so we did of course our safe start. The gear shift is in neutral. We already know that that was set. ABS light went on and promptly went off. So here we go. So we're gonna look at our left side indicator, our right side indicator, our high beam indicator, and our hazard light indicators. We'll put this on high idle so we can get that pressure built up quicker. Okay. That will go off in just a minute. We have our windshield wipers, washers are working properly. High, low, and off. Our horn, our re 
reverse because um, sound is working. All of our gears go smoothly. We have our fans high, low, and off. Fans, heaters, and defrosters, high, low, and off. We have our service door. The service door opens properly and the step light comes on. It's clear, it's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We have our amber warning light indicator, our red loading light indicator. Also, when we have that on, our stop arm comes out and the reflectors are red. They're the proper color, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. It's bolted and mounted securely and it's working properly. I think I did that, but we're going to do it again because I can't remember if I did it or not. So, we're going to look, look at our fans, high, low, and off. I'm also going to use my noise suspension button. That's what we use for railroad crossings to turn off all the noise. That's working properly. My driver dome light, my passenger dome light, and my strobe light indicator. They're not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and they are functioning properly. My seatbelt is not twisted or frayed. It latches securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. My front driver's seat is not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and it's bolted and mounted securely. The steering wheel has no more than two inches or 10 degrees play on the steering wheel. Oh, whoops. Here's my student mirror. It is bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. I can see all the way to the back and the top of the first seat. The sun visor is bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. All of my mirrors are adjusted for me. My windshield is bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. There's no decals or stickers. Okay, my radio is working and my intercom is working, PA system. Fans, heaters, and defrosters, like I said, are all working properly. Now we'll take a look at our emergency equipment right up here. Body fluid cleanup kit is fully stocked. Our fire extinguisher is rated, dated, and charged. The needle is in the green. We know it's charged. Our first aid kit has 24 dry box bandages, proof of insurance, and three emergency contacts. Our three reflective triangles are in here. Not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Have all of our seats are bolted and mounted securely. The frames are bolted securely to the floor and the seats are attached securely to the frames. We'll lift up on each of those going back. Okay, they're not cracked or broken, loose or missing. And we would check all of those just like I checked these two all the way back. We'll stop at this window and open it. Emergency window. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, opens freely. When I close it, it all goes off. We'll check our emergency door. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, opens easily. When I close it, it all goes off. I would check all the other windows the same way I checked this one. And then I'm going to check this emergency door patch and my strobe light. Strobe light is clear, it's not cracked or broken, loose or missing, it's functioning properly. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, opens freely, and goes off when I close it up. Cracked or broken, loose or missing. We'll also check the emergency window and back. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, it opens freely, and when I close it, it all goes off. We'll check our seat backs. They're not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We would check them all the same way, all the way up. I would check my roof hatch up front the same way I checked it back. And again, all of my windows would be checked like I checked this one. We're going to go outside now. I'm going to turn this off so we can um, check um, all of our things outside. I'll turn my lights off. This off. And I'm going to, oh, I should have done that first. So I need to turn my wheel so we can see all of the things inside of there. going to start at the front of the bus here. Okay, so I want to see that my amber clearance lights, my amber warning lights, my red loading lights, my amber turn signals and hazards, 
my headlights high and low beam, um, they are clear. All of them are the proper color. They're not cracked or broken, loose or missing. I forgot to mention my side markers are amber. My turn signals and hazards on the side are amber and you'll see them in a moment. We'll check the functionality of them later. My mirror brackets are bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. All four, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, bolted and mounted securely. The bus itself is not leaning to the left or to the right. There's no puddles. And I realize that this is a rear engine and all of, most of my fluids are in the back, but I do have my windshield washer container here. It's bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We will go down the passenger side of the bus first. We'll stop at our passenger door. The glass is intact, rubber seal is intact, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. And you saw earlier that it worked properly. My hand grab rails are bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Inside step light, outside step light are the proper color of clear, bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. The step tread is in place. It's not lifted to pose a tripping hazard. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Okay, reflective, trying, uh, excuse me, reflective. Reflectors are amber before the jewels and red after. The reflective tape is amber. It's uh, in place, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Our state sticker is in place, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Our turn signals and hazards on the side, like I mentioned earlier, are amber. They're not cracked or broken, loose or missing. And you'll see later that they're functioning properly. This is my front steer tire. It has no less than 4 30 seconds tread, evenly worn all the way across. The face of the tire, inside and out, has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The rim of the tire has no welds other than factory. The lug nuts are in place and tight, all of them. If they weren't tight, you might see a rust pattern or a shiny pattern, a rust trail or a shiny pattern, which would indicate that one might be loose. Our hub oil seal, all the bolts are in place and tight. It's not leaking or we might see a spray pattern. The valve stem is straight, centered, has a metal cap, if I were to check the tire pressure, I would use a tire pressure gauge. Okay, we're gonna take a look at our front and rear spring mounts. They are bolted and mounted securely, with the bolt bushing inside. We've got our torque leaf and our spring leaf, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Front and rear spring mounts are not cracked or broken, loose or missing. They're bolted and mounted securely. Our U-bolts are in place and tight, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We also have our shock absorber. Our shock absorber is bolted top and bottom, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and not leaking. We have our ABS line and our brake line. The ABS line is the little one. The wider one is the brake line. They are attached securely to the brake chamber. They're not kinked or leaking. Our brake cham chamber is clamped securely. It's bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We have our push rod and our slack adjuster. Not cracked or broken, loose or missing, if I were to a tug on it, it wouldn't move more than an inch. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We've got our linings here. If we were to move the dust cover, we'd see that the linings are not worn dangerously thin. And um, our brake drums have no grease, oil holes, or debris. Okay, we have our frame and cross members, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We have our mudflap, it's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Our fuel tank, our diesel fuel tank, cap, neck, and cage are bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken. There's no leaking in here. If we look underneath, the cage is around the tank, it's bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, it's not leaking. We'll continue going down the side, all of our windows are in place. There's no uh, cracked or broken glass. There's no damage to the side of the bus. Reflective tape is still in place. Not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Our DEF tank, cap, neck, and cage, bolted and mounted securely. Not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Nothing's leaking underneath. We'll take a look under the bus. And we're gonna take a look at our front and rear air, I'm um, sorry, front and rear Spring mounts, they're not bolted. They're bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. The torque leaf and spring leaf are in place, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. With the bolt bushings in place, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. 
Our U-bolts are in place, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Push rod and slack adjuster are in place, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Bolted and mounted securely. If I were to tug on them, they would move, not move more than one inch. We have our brake chamber. It's clamped securely. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. It's bolted and mounted securely. It's not leaking. The ABS line and the brake line are all attached securely to the brake chamber. They are not kinked or leaking. Uh, looking across at our opposite tire, I can see if I were to remove the dust cover that the brake linings are not worn dangerously thin. The brake drums have no holes, dents, debris, or grease. Not cracked or broken, loose or missing, bolted and mounted securely. These are our bud wheels. Our bud wheels are evenly spaced but have no spacer and there's nothing in between my duals. The tread depth is 2 30 seconds tread, evenly worn all the way across. Okay. Face of the tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The rim has no welds other than the factory. All of the lug nuts are in place and tight, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. The axle seal, all the bolts are in place, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. It's not leaking or we'd see a spray pattern. The valve stems, inner and outer, are straight, centered. They have metal caps, and if I were to check the tire pressure, I would use a tire pressure gauge. I believe I said the rim has no welds other than the factory, and there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts on the inside or the outside of the tire. Here's our mud flap, bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Uh, let's take a look at our battery box. All the batteries are in place, connections are made, excessive corrosion. We're going to take a look down here. We're going to take a look at our drive shaft. Our drive shaft is um, bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We're also going to take a look at our shock absorber. It's bolted top and bottom, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. We're also going to take a look at our airbags. Airbags are bolted. They have top and bottom air mounts, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. They're bolted uh, top and bottom, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Our torsion bar is not easy to see. It's in here, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. It appears to be functioning normally. Um, let's see. I think that's good. All right. I'm going to take a look at the back of the bus. We have red clearance lights, amber warning lights, red loading lights, red uh, side markers, clear backup lights, red brake lights, red tail lights, amber turn signals and hazards, red reflectors, amber reflective tape. It's all in place, it's not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and you'll see later that they're functioning properly. We're gonna take a look at our engine compartment. Okay, we have our alternator. Our alternator is belt driven. It's bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. All the copper wiring is in place, not frayed or damaged. The serpentine belt that runs the um, alternator is um, serpentine belt. You can't deflect it more than a half inch. It's not twisted or frayed. Not cracked or damaged, loose or missing. This is our water pump. It's also belt driven, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. It is belt driven, both of these. Alternator, water pump, belt driven. Not cracked or broken, loose or missing, bolted and mounted securely. We have our oil dipstick. To read the oil dipstick, you would take the oil dipstick out, wipe it off, reinsert it, take it back out again. It will read between add and full. Our coolant reservoir is bolted and mounted securely. All the hoses are attached securely, not kinked or leaking. The um, level of fluid is adequate between add and full. Cap is in place, uh, bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Nothing is leaking, none of the hoses, the cap, the container itself. Our um, steering Power steering reservoir is bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. All the hoses are attached securely, not kinked or leaking. To check the fluid level, you can check the sight glass or the dipstick, wipe it off, reinsert it, take it back out again. It will read between add and full. 
we follow these lines down, they're going to lead us to the power steering pump. The power steering pump is gear driven. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. It's bolted and mounted securely. It's not leaking. Right below that is the air compressor. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. It's bolted and mounted securely. It's not leaking. And it is also gear driven. All of my lines, wires, and hoses are attached securely. They are not kinked or leaking. There's no fluid or moisture built up on or around the engine. Okay. Lights go on, buzzer sounds. Gotta check in here too. Now, here's our exhaust system. It's bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. There's no soot pattern that would indicate a leak, and if the bus was running, we would listen for excessive noise. A good view of our frame and cross members here. Um, we also, we showed you the drive shaft already, so we're good. I would check the brake suspension and wheels the same on this side as I did on the other. In addition, we would check a few other items here. If I forgot something, I could do that over here as well. We showed you the emergency door. It locks into place. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, and it all goes off when you shut it. Her stop arm, as you saw earlier, is bolted and mounted securely. All of the lenses are in place. They're red. They're not cracked or broken, loose or missing. The state sticker is in place and up to date. Our circuit breaker has, um, we have no additional, this is circuit breaker bus, no additional fuses. We do have to look at our gearbox. Our gearbox is bolted and mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. It's not leaking. We also have our drag link and our pitman arm, drag link and pitman arm, and our tie rod. Tie rod is the bar that goes all the way across here. Here's our tie rod, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, nor is the um, drag link or the pitman arm. They're not cracked or broken, loose or missing. They're bolted and mounted securely. Uh, they, I think I already said that the gear sh the gearbox itself is not leaking and all the hoses are attached securely. They are not kinked or leaking as well, okay? And we're back to the front of our bus. We're going to do have the tester do a light check. So you're going to go back on your bus and make all of your lights function, okay? So you can do that. And I'm gonna have Kathy stay outside so you can see all the lights functioning. I'm going to have the bus off, but I will have my window open so um, we can communicate with each other what I'm testing. Okay, here we go.
legs all the way around and step light outside and inside. And that is my free trip and I am done. So that's what the changes are. I hope that's been a helpful demonstration for you. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.